I had loved Bhool Bhulaiya 1 as it stirs up so many memories of watching it in 2007 with my colleagues from NewsX, two of whom are till today my bestest of friends. This film, a remake of a hugely successful Malayalam film Mani Chitra Thazu, had been quite talked about in those days amongst my friends, most of them who are from South India. So the day it released, we all went and watched the first day last show at a theatre in Delhi in the front row, mind you, grabbing the last of the few seats that were available and I must say, I had thoroughly enjoyed it. So when finally 12 years after that, its sequel released today, I had to watch it and I must admit, I went loaded with expectations. Hi, this is Rana Kotecha and this is the review of Bhul Bhulaiya 2. So I'm sure the first sawal on your mind would be whether it is any better or worse than the original. But the question you should be asking is that is it any different and the jawab is yes, it is very very different and that is actually the best part. Don't be fooled by the promo of Bhul Bhulaiya 2 because this is a standalone film on its own and it's pretty much a Karthik Aryan show all the way. Here he totally plays to the gallery cashing in on his boy next door image flashing his toothy smile as he goes about doing rookie magic tricks for a living. A dubious art that somehow lands him in a job of exorcism because well he can see dead people. Or can he? Well, who am I to say? This is a no spoiler review like always. So Ruhan, meaning Karthik Aryan, the Jugadu Jadugar, uses his charm to cast a spell on Reed, meaning Kiara Advani, as the two fall in love at the very first sight. And there is some instant Naj Gana as it happens in Bollywood, but Ruhan's task is cut out. To free the massive mansion of the Bhut Pray that is haunting the Thakur Parivar, living in this Bab Dada Ki Haveli. Karthik Aryan goes all out using his boyish charm and purely whites carrying the film on his shoulders in a kind of role that has been immortalized in the meme world by Akshay Kumar but he manages to hold on to his own doing slapstick situational comedy as best as he can and doling out laugh out loud dialogues. Now if you ask me, Karthik is one of those rare outsiders who has slowly but surely cemented his position into the A-League without the backing of the so-called top filmmakers of the industry. And from the unanimously positive reviews of this film, it seems Karthik ka time aa gaya hai. Kiara Advani, as always, looks ati sundar and performs well within the limited scope of her role. And well, Tabu, what can I say about her? It's really difficult to use her potential in a film that has so many moving parts, but still, she's one Abhinetri who brings a certain level of finesse into all the spooky madness which has become the calling card of this franchise. Bichare Rajpal Yadav once again manages to take a joke or two or three or four or five on himself to make the audience laugh as he reprises the role of Chote Pandit. And Sanjay Mishra is hilarious as the Pakhandi Pandit who chants Apna time aayega to bagao the Bhutni and obviously doesn't work. There's a child artist named Siddhant who leaves a mark as Portlu. Now there's a constant hum of the haunting melody Ami Jetomar playing in the background that elevates the spooky factor along with a few juicy jump scares. That tune itself keeps reminding you that this is a sequel of Bhul Bhulaya 2 but otherwise the story is all new. Pegged as a horror comedy, Bhul Bhulaya 2 manages to deliver on both counts and it's a tricky genre. Bollywood has tried it a couple of times in the past and it's always been a bit of a hit or a miss kind of a thing. But here we have Anis Bazmi, the Nirdeshak who is known to have juggled big star cast in lucrative comedies all through the 2000s, most of whom have sent the cash registers ringing at the box office. But this is his first time at Hasiaras mixed with horror and it seems to have done the magic trick just enough to keep you hooked as you forget the logic and enjoy the spooky ride. Let us know what is your take on Bhul Bhulaya 2 if you've already watched it in the theatre or if you're going to watch it. You can read many of my reviews in the Times of India as well. Connect with me on Instagram, Facebook and on Twitter. It's at the rate review Ron on both and at the rate Ron Kotech on Twitter. Like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you've already subscribed to this channel. If you're hitting the bell icon as always, I would request you to please click the all option and not the personalized option so you can get the notifications of our videos which are about news, views, reviews and experiences from UAE and around the world. If you don't like our videos, of course, you don't need to do any of these things but do tell us how we can improve. But in either ways, thank you so much for watching this one. Please take care of yourself and those around you. Jai Hind.
पंद्रह साल बाद इस दरवाजे ने फिर दस्तक दी है